Back and forth as we go. Please welcome to the stage, Jamie! He always vowed that it'd take him and his grandma to book their funeral in preparation for when they called off. So with the inspiration of that conversation, um, I wrote this nonsensical verse, um, which is taken from the perspective of an elderly lady, and it's called, My Husband Has Booked Our Funeral. My husband has taken me to book our funeral. One of the perks of being white. I know we are in our sixties and it's good to be cautious, but I don't want to think when I might drop down dead. We may have twenty years left, he says. Tomorrow we may pop our socks. Mary, we need to be safe and sorry, he says, as I sit pondering about laying in that box. The awkward varnished casket which I chose, the time it'll become my homeward bound. Except that it won't be very pretty when I'm six feet under and buried with rats in the ground. The measurements and fixtures and approximates, my anatomy becoming an entangled warps. There is no use to feeling great at appointments like these because I come out feeling like a corpse. <laughs> Well, at least I will know what my new habitat will be like. Right now, I have no more strive. Today has knocked me off the six, and I feel so drained, and I feel so buried alive. So now I'm going to wrap up this anecdote as I prepare for my reincarnation. This poem is to you, and I hope to see you all at the wake with this personal invitation. Thank you very much. Mixing it up tonight, mixing it.